good morning children sai ram i again welcome you all to the online class of economics children today i am again going to continue with the same book and with the same chapter that is chapter number 3 and the name of our chapter is features problem and policies of agriculture children this is your second video of this chapter and in the first video we have already learned the importance of agriculture in the indian economy the features of indian agriculture we do have learned uh, the condition of indian economy in uh, the condition of india's agriculture uh, during the british rule that why it was uh, backward and stagnant during the british rule now in today's video we are going to learn the problems of indian agriculture agrarian reforms so children let us start again with the first uh, topic that is problem of indian agriculture so children before i move start let me again uh, re review a uh, topic the indian agriculture so children uh, indian agriculture was a significant history and uh, india's ranked the second worldwide in the farm output agriculture and the allied sector like forestry and the fisheries accounting for 13.9% of the gdp in the year 2011 to 12 and uh, almost 50% of uh, total workforce is been engaged in agriculture that we have already learned in the last video so now in today's video we are we are going to learn the problems of indian agriculture i mean what are the problems the indian agriculture is facing so children in spite of dominating among all the sectors indian agriculture in india has been subjected to a number of problems the following are some of the major problems responsible for the poor state of indian agriculture so uh, children the first problem is inequity in equality in the land distribution children the distribution of agriculture land in india was not fair rather there have been a consider uh, considerably degree of concentration of the land holdings among the rich land lords uh, i have already explained you the same topic children there is always a gulf between the tiller the tillers of the soil and the owners of the soil the zamindars were recognized as the as the owners of the soil and there was and there was set up a triangular relationship between uh, during the british raj majorly between the tillers of the soil and the owners of the soil so uh, zamindars will be considered as the owners of the soil and they were intention to charge as much as high rent as they can and whatever the amount they can uh, they can create they can spend on their luxuries of life i mean they can i mean the zamindars were spending um, on the rent amount whatever they have uh, received on their lavish life so the vast majority of large uh, farmers on a very small an uneconomic size of land holdings where the hectare uh, where the pro total production was resulting in high cost but least in output so the first problem is inequality in the land distribution next is the land tenure system children land tenure system practiced in india has been suffering from a lot of defects land tenure system in the sense i mean um during the british raj children the british government in india introduced a unique system of land revenue it set up a triangular relationship among the government the owners of the soil and the tillers of the soil so this was properly known as the zamindari system of the land revenue and as i just said zamindars were recognized as the permanent owner of the soil and the zamindars were cons were to pay a fixed sum to the government as rent or as a lagan or as a land revenue whatever you are, you can say and thereafter the zamindars were free to extract as much as from the tillers of the soil as they could i mean once uh, the zamindars was in intention to submit 
the the land revenue the lagan to the government there after uh, the zamindars were free to uh, charge as much as rent they can from the the tillers of the soil from the farmers so basically this implication of the land revenue system was alarming for both the farmers and the farming most importantly children it led to unlimited exploitation of the tillers of the soil by the zamindars and as i just said the rate of land revenue was frequently been raised by the zamindars who led to the frequent uh, exploitation of the tillers of the soil and in this way the tillers of the soil the tillers of the soil that is the farmer were reduced uh, to the status of landless laborers and as landless laborers the tillers merely got substance which in kind so uh, in this was basically a problem prevailing in between the tenant as well as the as well as the zamindars the backwardness of the tillers as as considered as the landless laborers meant that they had no means a little interest in improving the agriculture and on the other hand so the being the zamindars led a lavish uh, you can say lifestyle and spend all all their revenue incomes on luxuries of life so improvement of agriculture was totally neglected next is agricultural and industrial development children agriculture in india has been the major source of supply of raw materials to various uh, important industries in the country as you all know uh, during the british rule uh, the britishers has find that india is a uh, vast rich in the field of the raw materials because they find that india's uh, is uh, having a lot of uh, you can say the raw materials in in like the cotton the wheat the uh, the silk and so on and what they decided is they are going to export it uh, free of cost into their own country for their own textiles and once uh, they are useful for making production uh, then the same uh, finished goods can be inverted free of cost in our indian econ in the indian market to uh, to face uh, the competition with the Brit uh, to face the competition with the uh, indian uh, product so in this way the britishers has uh, destroyed not even uh, the the natural resources but they are again in the and they are again uh, came in the competition with the indian market so uh, children almost 50 almost 50% of income which is generated from the manufacturing sector sectors come from the agro based industries in the country next is the commercial importance children indian india's agriculture is playing a very important role both in the internal and the external trade of the country so nearly 70% of the india's export are originated uh, from the agricultural sector so whatever the export of a country is doing a 70% of uh, total products are from the agricultural sector so therefore agriculture is helping the country in earning the foreign exchange uh, to meet the required import bill of the country next we have a sources of the government revenue children agriculture is one of the more is one of the major sources of revenue to both the uh, the central as the state uh, government of the country the government gets a substantial income from raising a land revenue in this the agriculture sector is playing a very important role in the country like india and the prosperity of india's economy still largely depend on the agriculture sector therefore agriculture sector is a basic uh, precondition of the sectorial uh, diversification and development of the country next we have uh, the sixth point the problems in the indian agriculture that is absence of crop rotations so children the proper rotation of crop is very much necessary or essential for the successful agricultural operations 
as it helps to regain the soil fertility i mean uh, as a in the indian farmers are mostly illiterate they are not very much conscious about the benefits of the crop rotation due to which the land loses its fertility i mean uh, in the in the ancient times what we are seeing is uh, the agriculture is doing or is based on the substance farming we used to produce those goods which is needed for a uh, for our survival and we used to product uh, we used to make production of the similar kind of uh, crops we are not making uh, you can say Uh, the diversification in our crops production production so that we can regain the fertility so uh, as the you all know uh, britishers have forced uh, the farmers the indian farmers from uh, the crop uh, production to commercialization of crops so they have um, given certain advantages to the indian farmers to uh, to produce or uh, to Uh, do and uh, farming for the indigo as the indigo is used for bleaching and dyeing of uh, uh, of the clothes which is very useful or which is very essential uh, in for the britishers because in british uh, you can say in england or in their own country they are also they are needed of uh, they are in need of indigo to to and to bleach or dyeing of uh, the useful products so this is uh, you can say the forced commercialization of agriculture next is lack of organized agricultural marketing so in indian farmers are lacking are facing the problem of low income from the marketable surplus crops in the absence of the proper organized market and adequate transportation and the com- and the communication facilities children as you know uh, for our farmers we do not have a proper market by which a farmer can be easily uh, sell their product and they can charge as much high as they can so due to the shortage of a proper market and a proper transport facilities our farmers are been uh, forced to sell their product at a least price to the intermediators because on it, all of the certain intermediators are uh, available uh, for farmers for 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 the farmers to buy their product uh, they crop at a least price because the the organized or the available market is far from the rural places and they do not have a proper transport facilities by which the farmers can make available their product to their organized uh, market and can uh, get a good amount for their crop so therefore due to a lack of a proper um, market or adequate transportation and communication facilities uh, farmers condition will remain uh, less in terms of uh, the surplus next is uh, the agricultural in indebtedness so once the great Uh, the greatest problem of indian agriculture is its uh, growing in that indebtedness so children during the british rule while when the tillers of the soil confronted the absolute poverty and accepted indebtedness as their way of life the owners of the soil induced in conspicuous consumptions so the t- tillers of the soil viewed agriculture mainly as a source of subsistence so chill and what i'm going to say is in agriculture as the condition of the indian farmers was not improving and the farmers are going in debt day by day of the zamindars so therefore in agriculture the farmer conditions were very uh, very crucial and the rural people are borrowing heavy amount of loans regularly for meeting their uh, requirements needed for the production consumption and also for meeting their social commitments so due to the crop failure a poor income arises out of a low price of crops and the farmers fall into the debt trap and cannot arrange for sufficient money to repay their debts so therefore the debt of the farmers gradually increases which leads to the problem of rural indebtedness so uh, children this is all then we have the low agricultural productivity as i just said the the condition of the indian uh, agriculture is still 
stage uh, like uh, remains a backward although it is considered as a backbone of the indian economy uh, agricultural productivity which is composed of both productivity of land and labor as well as is among the lowest in the uh, lowest in the world so children uh, the productivity as well as the production both are very low and uh, there are several causes of low uh, agricultural productivity in india which is majorly classified into the three categories the first one is your uh, you can say the general factors the second is the institutional factors third is the technological factors now let us learn first the general factors of the low agricultural productivity in india the first is uh, as the general factors are basic are the which are, are uh the following factors which are responsible for the agricultural productivity in indian agriculture the first one is social economic uh, factors so children uh, various social economic factors like farmers conservatism uh, conservative uh, outlook ignorance illiteracy and um, superstitions a sector stands in the way of adoption of uh, uh, the modern technology in indian agriculture and unless the discouraging rural atmosphere is changed it is not possible to improve the condition of indian agriculture in the country lack of adequate finance um, finance i mean the the farmers do not have a proper uh, uh, availability of uh, finance that is why the product the productivity and the production of indian agriculture was very low as i just explain you that uh, the condition of india's uh, farmers are going in debt day by day and their indebtedness are increasing just because uh, there were less surplus left available for the farmers uh, farmers after uh, selling their crops to the market and thereafter they are in a position to pay a huge amount to the zamindars because they have already in debt of zamindars so this was also the reason of uh, uh, backwardness of india's agriculture next is lack of proper investment so there is uh, nearly absence of productivity investment in agriculture i mean we are not going in a condition to invest more in the agriculture because uh, the surplus left with the farmers is very inadequate to uh, fulfill their living on uh, their livelihood expenses and also they do not have a proper finance available for make investment in the agriculture or to improve their condition so uh, in this way um, the absence due to the absence of the productivity investment in the agricultural uh, crops the investment in agricultural land is found to be a less attractive than in the alternative investment in jewelry trade and money lending so that is why the the investors are not in intention to invest for the farm products or to increase in agricultural uh, growth because they feel that uh, the the uh, you can say the output we cannot generate well from the agri uh, from the agriculture so they are intention to invest for the jewelry trade or even in the money laundering next uh, we have a uh, institutional factors uh, the institutional factors which is responsible for the uh, india's agri uh, india's agricultural backwardness and stagnation the first well is a small size of land holdings children uh, you all must be knowing that uh, uh, india's farmers or india's farmers land holdings were both small as well as fragmented fragmented land holdings means a piece of land here and the piece of land is there so accordingly most land holdings were uneconomic yielding a low output and at high cost so just because of uh, small holdings of land it is very difficult for the farmers to uh, plug even uh, to to start their uh, you can uh, 
to start their production there with this small piece of land because with this small piece of land he cannot uh, you can irritate it well it cannot use um, some uh, you can say high yielding varieties of sheets also because the land was 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 in a low size so uh, the area size of uh, agriculture holding in india is very small and uneconomic and it was even less than 2 hectares or you can say 5 acres so beside this the agriculture holdings in india are fragmented too as i just said um, no scientific cultivation with the improved implementations the seeds etc are ever possible so this was result to yield you know, to the low yielding of indian agriculture next is the defective pattern of land revenue this i have already explained now we'll see the technological factors responsible for the backwardness of indian agriculture as well as the low production and pro, uh, pro, uh, the productivity the first one is lack of high yielding varieties of sheets children as you all know a high yielding varieties of sheets are needed just to protect uh, the crop and to increase the production so such uh, high yielding varieties varieties of sheets are not available for the farmers uh, at that point of time and since 1965 children high yielding variety sheets has replaced the conventional varieties of uh, production so high yielding varieties of sheets in short we can h y v sheets especially related to the wheat bajra rice maize jowar and cotton have led to a substantial rise in the crop productivity and this was uh, also a reason of the backwardness of uh, the product as well as the productivity next we have the uh, scanty use of fertilizers we do not have the fertilizers the sufficient quantity of uh, fertilizers on their lands as well and cultivation of land causes deterioration of uh, the fertility of soil so uh, both the poor cultivators but the poor cultivators cannot afford to purchase the costly chemical fertilizers for applying on their land and therefore in india the use of both chemical fertilizers and even farm yard during manure is totally inadequate so children these are the three factors the technological institutional as well as the general factors responsible for the backwardness of indian agriculture their production as well as their productivity now we are uh, going to learn the reforms uh, taken in india to improve uh, the condition of indian agriculture so agriculture at the time of independence we noted that at the time of independence children india inherited a semi feudal agrarian structure with autonomous tenure arrangements this is uh, the first one and the ownership and control of land was highly concentrated in a few landlords and intermediaries i mean the major uh, the major part of land is been owned operated by the heavy or the big landlords the zamindars and only a small piece of land are been with the farmers and the conditions are enough uh, enough bad the agricultural land resources in india was gradually imp improved because economic motivation tended towards exploitation rather than investment so children the reforms what we have taken after independence are can be classified into this categories this reforms will be considered as the agrarian reforms and it is been of three types the first one is your technical reforms second one is your institutional reforms we can also call as land reforms and third variety of agrarian reforms is the general reforms children in in technology in technical reforms it is again classified into the following subheads like the first one is use of hy varieties of sheets 
use of chemical fertilizers use of insecticides pesticides for crop uh, pro, uh, protection the scientific farm management practices and mechanisms of cultivation this we are going to learn in technical uh, reforms and in institutional reforms we are going to learn the evolution of intermediaries regul uh, regulation of rent consolidation of uh, land holdings sealing of land holdings redistribution of surplus land and the cooperative farming in general reforms we have expansion of ir irrigation facilities provision for credit regulated market for cooperative marketing society and at last we have the price support policy which we call it minimum support policy or msp so the first we are talking here about is the technical reforms which we call it new agricultural strategy so children the following steps have been taken by the government to update uh, the level of technology in india the first one is your use of hy varieties of sheets which which we call is high yielding varieties of sheets so children uh, you all must be knowing like since 1965 high yielding variety sheets has replaced the conventional varieties and high yield high yield hyv sheets especially uh, related to like wheat jowar bajra rice maize cotton etc have led to a substantial rise in the crop productivity this break through its properly known as green revolution and national seeds corporation has set up uh, has been set up to promote the growth and distribution of hyv sheets uh, uh, hyv sheets and in the year 2016 to 67 children almost uh, 6 lakhs 20000 Seven hundred forty-three quintals of certified sheets were distributed among farmers in different parts of the country. Next, we have use of chemical fertilizers. Children, the chemical fertilizers are also being used are also being increasingly used to enhance the productivity. use of chemical fertilizers has considerably increased over time and in the year 2017 to 18 nearly uh, 265.9 lakh tons of chemical fertilizers were used now the third one is use of insecticides and pesticides for the crop production protection children steps have been initiated to protect the crops against the disease and insects by using insecticides and the pesticides and 14 central plant protection center has been set up in this respect for plant protection integrated pest management control uh, program was adopted along with the adoption of hyv technology the fourth one is uh, scientific farm management practices so in the technological reforms or you can say in technical reforms children uh, stress has been laid on the scientific cultivation as against the conventional farming and scientific methods of farming relate to selection of the crop and the quality preparation of soil rotation of uh, crops selection selection of seeds and use of uh, fertilizers behind other besides others were used as a scientific farm pra management practices to increase the scientific cultivation of agriculture and in this con connection children uh, intensive agriculture area program has been introduced so children these are the technical reforms taken for the betterment of an indian agriculture so children so far what we have understood we have understand the problem of indian agriculture we do have learned that why the condition of indian agriculture was backward and stagnant what are the factors the causes behind of backwardness of agriculture thereafter we have learned uh, the reforms or uh, which we call is agrarian reforms which should be taken uh, by the government a kind of series of reforms measures since independence
सो दिस रिफॉर्म्स मेशर्स आर प्रॉपरली नॉन एज द एग्रीन रिफॉर्म्स एंड इन दिस एग्रीन रिफॉर्म्स वी हैव लर्न द फर्स्ट वेराइटी दैट इज द टेक्निकल रिफॉर्म्स एंड चिल्ड्रन इंस्टीट्यूशनल रिफॉर्म्स एंड जनरल रिफॉर्म्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो चिल्ड्रन दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग एंड हैव अ नाइस डे साई राम